Hi everyone, I'm Lindy Whitten, I'm back in the studio and today I'm going to be doing a small square canvas. I'm going to be changing this particular photo which I took on a trip to the US. Uh, it's near Mount Hood in that area and I just loved the mountain in the background, all those blues in the background and then we come through to all these yellows and all uh, the vegetation and flowers which allows me to get some colour into it. So. I'll just be modifying that into a square format. So here's my image. I've just got it on my tablet there because it's a nice way to see it. And I've got two boxes here, two square boxes. So I'm going to do a couple of thumbnails to help me decide where to place the major elements since I'm changing it from a portrait, um, a landscape format to a portrait. <sighs> having a bad day aren't I, from the landscape format to a square. I do like square formats uh, so what I'm going to do first is place the mountain because that's an important thing and I want it to stay in the same sort of position over here. I'm going to divide it into four so I want it on the, the horizon to be up high and so I'll put the mountain over here and then we'll have another layer in front of it so I'll put that in that's coming down like so and then there'll be some some more I've kind of squashed those in a bit there's maybe a little bit more distance but I'm not going to worry about that too much because so there's going to be a whole lot of layers in here but for the purposes of this little exercise um, I'm just going to treat them as one layer and there not the darkest value. If we do the squint, this is the darkest value. There's a couple of bushes that are the darkest value. And then it's reasonably dark through here with the squinting technique. Mid, mid values back there and light values there, light values through there. And this is becoming mid to dark in this area here. So I'm just going to give that a little... I'm using a Sharpie so that you can see it really well. Now, if that mountain's going to be light. I've just messed that up, haven't I? Never mind. I'll re-put it in over here. So that's one major block of shapes there. Then I have that little flat line across there which I want to keep in. I'm going to put in a tiny little house there. And I am going to put that in. So all I'm doing there is put myself a little circle to remind me that that's where the house is going. There's a bush here and it's right in the middle. I don't want it right in the middle. So I'm thinking I might be moving that all together and perhaps um, just over here having some bushes overlapping there and coming down like I, I, I like that line down through there. Down here is another level which is where this hill, this slope in the landscape slopes down like so. So I'm just giving myself some directional lines to remind me that that's how it's coming and these bushes are going to come down there and then I, I like this bush. I don't want it to be in front of that. I don't want it to be mid-center and I don't want it to be in front of that mountain. So that's going to be slightly tricky. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm trying to think whether I want to push it forward or backwards a bit. I want these flowers to all uh, play a large part in it. So there's going to be a mass of flowers there, a larger sort of flowers there, more flowers going up here. So what I, what I think I'll do is actually use that to echo the shape of the mountain. I will put it here. So the base of it is on my sort of on this line. That's where I'm going to make the base of it and make that quite dark. So that will anchor it to one of those golden thirds. You can see if I put the grid on of thirds, it's one, two, three, four. So this bush lines up there on the golden third and there on the golden third. So I'm going to uh, make those the darker sides of the bush there. Let's take a little bit of liberty with it because it's not the way on here. But that's what I want to do. It was uh, overhead sunlight and so we're not really getting any shadows but I'm going to make that a darker side of the bush to anchor it into that third of the um, the golden third or I could in fact make this a darker side and make that very light which would anchor the eye into there as well so I'll think about that when I do the next thumbnail so I'm going to have patches of flowers leading in um, so I'll get a shape going like this through into that bush up through those bushes back through 
the mountain. So you can see I get this S shape, which will lead me in and through the picture plane. And once I get there, if I in fact make that the light side, the light from there will bring my eye back down to here. And then we can play around with the flowers and keep going around in the picture plane. So now I've worked out some of those compositional things, I will move on and do it over here again, uh, just to get those shapes a little bit better. And we know that this mountain is quite light. So I'm just allowing that to be light there. But these areas here are relatively dark. And there'll be a few... Oops. There'll be a few... So I'm just going to put that in lightly. Then I, I'm removing that bush. It's too dark. It's right in the middle. I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is remember to put that little house there. I'm just putting myself a little mark there to remind me there's a house going there. Then I've got bushes coming down here. I've got the, the hill sloping down there. So there's my bushes. And there'll be a couple of smaller bushes coming along here, just overlapping on the horizon a little bit. And then there's this major bush which I'm going to do anchoring into here. Uh, it's quite large, so I've actually moved it a bit further that way. I'm not sure if I'll keep it that way or not. And then a whole mass of flowers coming through here. Flowers, flowers, flowers. And up through there. These these shrubs might come down that way a little bit more. So I've still kept that. I've got my bush here. It's not as big as in here and I'm not sure. I think I might make it a little bit bigger so that it overlaps more of, of that hill going up there. So I think this is the one I'm going to go with. I've still got that nice early pathway through it. I've got some... This is actually going to be a little bit darker down here. Patchy, patchy darkness. So I'll put that in as a sort of patchy mess. And so I've got some darks, darker tones there, and all the rest of it's through here. And here is fairly light. I don't want to split it in half, and I'm, I'm actually tending at the moment to split it in. If you look at the proportions there, that's halfway. I'm actually tending to split it in half with that line there, uh, which I don't like. So what I need to do is take some of the, the darker values up into there and bring some of the lights down into here so it's more of a, a squiggly line on there, not a straight line. And that's going to be all lights down into there. So I break up, it's more of a diagonal line there rather than a straight line across. So let's make all that a little bit darker there. So what I'm going to end up with is very light, very light, very light. Uh, and then that'll be a darker and this will be darkest here. This value and these values through here are pretty much the same. That's a little bit darker. That was the darkest which we've got rid of. So this value and this value are pretty much the same which I've done and that's a little bit darker so I'm cross hatching that. So that becomes the darkest value and then these and these values are pretty much the same. So I now have uh, a little thumbnail of how this is going to do to work out. I've thought about it in terms of where these golden thirds are. I'm trying to place my and it's come down lower, doesn't it? To place my plant on the golden third there so it lines up this this way and that way in the golden third. Uh, I've tried not to put any of the major horizontal lines in the middle of the painting. We don't want to do that. I've tried to map out what the values are going to be. And so that value and that value and this connecting line here coming through the light area are going to be dark. That's going to be darker. And I'm reasonably happy with that. So we're ready to go ahead now. All I need to do is lay out my colours.